that. But I would like to add that you cannot start at the level of AI. You need to do a, a large number of things first. Uh, if you don't have uh, the data in place, AI has no value. Uh, if you don't know what to use AI for, then it has no value. So uh, if you don't know how to collaborate across domains, you don't have that culture, AI has no value. So don't, I have, I sometimes get questioned how we want to start our uh, AI journey uh, and how, how, how do we do that? And I often ask for very basic hygiene factors, like do you speak with each other? Uh, do you have a data warehouse? Have you heard about Python? Uh, so very, very basic uh, uh, questions when it comes to healthcare <laughs> systems wanting to start their AI journey. So uh, no. ju don't jump to conclusions, start where you are. Yeah, I think this ties back to what you said earlier. The management needs to take responsibility of this. And I think a lot of big Swedish private companies have taken the shortcut of hiring, hiring a data scientist and putting the responsibility on them to lead that journey. And so they don't have to take the responsibility. And we see a lot of big Swedish companies now having spent three years on projects that are super interesting from publishing paper perspective but not actually changing the organization itself. So it or, can, yeah. or the management tells the IT department to start using AI yeah. and nothing happens. So, uh, well, they're super happy about that, uh, that task, but the translation into value uh, does not happen that way. So, so um, yeah. And I would like to demystify <coughs> the AI bit it's not that hard to train an AI model and deploy it. I trained and deployed a deep learning language model yesterday in less than an hour. The data infrastructure is much harder. And I would say understanding the business value and the culture change is exponentially harder. That's the hardest bit of all. And actually that has changed over time because five years ago when we started deploying AI, the AI part was super hard, yeah. uh, at least for us. Uh, now there are so readily available tools and also understanding AI uh, makes you realize that it's an array of tools where there are very simple ones, understandable, transparent, explainable ones, but there are also opaque models. Uh, and you don't need to go for uh, deep neural networks, investing in, in like uh, GPUs for millions. That's not where you start. Uh, you start with the stuff that you understand, and then you build um, gradually on, your, on the complexity. Uh, and, and, and you need you need to have that understanding not only with yourself or in the IT department, but in all stakeholders uh, and to feel safe. Because one criticism uh, or two uh, on AI is the opacity. So we don't understand why things happen or why we got this alert or or what is the cause and effect here, uh, and also the hype around uh, AI, but we, um, we at least in our environment has gotten past the hype, uh, peak of the hype cycle. Uh, and now it's more down to the hard stuff, uh, like the core uh, of actually getting things done. And that's, that's harder than, than deploying uh, a readily available model that you can download from from a, a open site today.